Hi guys, it's me now. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. We just finished doing a 24 by 36 canvas with mix and Liquitex pouring medium that was lionfish, which was a really cool pour. And I really want to do that again, but I'm just using all mix this time. So I will show you my colors. This is a 24 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. So that's ready to go. Let's show you the colors. Okay, this first one is a new one for me. This is Chroma Molten Metals Metallics Acrylics, and this one is Regale Blue, which is kind of an electric blue. It's one of the new colors from Chroma Molten Metals. They come in a four pack with a purple and a blue and a green and a red, and they're really, really pretty and sparkly. So I'm very excited about this one. This is the Regale Blue, and this is all mixed with mix and nothing else. Well, water, mix and water, because it is so hot here today. It's probably about 100, and it's only about 10.30 in the morning. So this is nice and thick and creamy, leaving a mound on a mound. Everything is the same consistency, I hope. Okay, so that's our Regale Blue from Chroma Molten Metals. I also have here Arteza's Pearl Pistachio, which you guys know how much I love this one. Beautiful, thick and creamy, delicious amazingness. Okay, next one is Golden's Anthroquinone Blue, which I haven't used in a while. But I really love this color. It's so pretty. And I especially love using it with purples. Because it's kind of got a, a reddish cast to it. More of a purpley tone than a blue tone. Which is really, really cool. Okay. So that's the anthroquinone blue. This one is Golden's Permanent Deep Violet. One of my favorite colors in the world. Thick and creamy and delicious. It's amazing stuff. Okay. Golden's Iridescent Pearl. So the last couple of paintings I did had a few little artifacts and things in them, you know, like little bumps and whatever, and I think it was coming from the pearl, so I actually strained this through a paint strainer. So we'll see. Hopefully that'll do better this time. Uh, this one is DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. One of my lovely, lovely viewers sent it to me. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. I really do. You're so sweet. Okay. And let's see, we also have one more cup of anthroquinone blue that's mixed up a little thinner for our low extender, and that's the rest of anthroquinone blue that wouldn't fit in the cup. So, let's get started and layer a cup. We're going to do the same thing with uh, two wandering ring pours across the canvas because I, I'm obsessed with how that's looking right now. So, And I'm going to pour it down the side of the cup this time. Not from the spout, but from the side. Okay, so I want to hold it probably like that, so let me pour it this way. Okay. I'm going to pour it this way so you guys can see better. Okay, so we're going to start with, what should we start with? Let's start with a little bit of anthroquinone blue. God, that's so pretty. Just watching this stuff pour is amazing. And some iridescent pearl. And let's put a little bit of gold in there. And let's go into that Regale blue, electric blue. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of pistachio in there now. And some of our permanent deep violet. I'm going to come back to the white. And the anthroquinone again. So for a 24 by 36 inch canvas, we need about 30 ounces of paint. So if I fill this up, that's 21 ounces. If I go to about here, it's about 16 ounces. So two cups to fill this to about here should be 30, 32 ounces, and that's perfectly okay with me. Okay, we're going to put some more of the Regale Blue in. And some pistachio. God, that's so pretty. I love that already. Some gold, a little bit more white. So I'm using the white and the gold and the pistachio between the more solid colors, between the anthroquinone and the violet. And 
I'm just going to put a tiny bit of blue on top because that's what color we're going to be pouring into. Okay, I still need a bit of a mess, but that's all right. Okay, so... First thing we're going to do, this one is anthraquinone blue. These two are thinned out. I'm going to thin that out even more. It is so hot. Literally, it's like, whew, frog baker. <laughs> I heard you say it the other day. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pour a small puddle across this way. Okay, so last time I did it, I kind of had big rings. I want to see if I can keep it a little tighter this time. It may not work, but we'll try. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I know, I know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, here we go. That's awesome. Love that right there. Perfect. Very cool. Very cool. I'm happy. Okay. Let's do that again. We're going to start with some more anthraquinone. And a little bit of pearl. And a little bit of gold. And some of that regale blue. Okay, I'm going to go pistachio, a little bit of white, violet, let's put that regale blue on the other side of the violet this time, a little bit more blue, now let's do some pistachio first, pistachio, some gold, White, pearl, I should say, not white. Anthraquinone blue, Regale blue, bit of gold, more pistachio, permanent deep violet. white and some more blue okay so this one's a little bit fuller but I want to get more coverage to get to all the way to the end all right so this is our thinned out one I'm gonna thin it out a little bit more and I'm thinning it out because I want it to not crack so I don't want super, super, super thick. This is already pretty thick, but I have watered it all down a little bit just because the temperature here is so hot. Okay, that's much better now. Okay, so let's move these. You know, I think I want to pour it from that way coming and end over here because I think we're going to keep this end again. Okay, so I'm going to pour a puddle over this way. And I'm also going to go around the edge of this. darling. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You always make me laugh right before I do. <laughs> okay, here we go.
That's awesome. All right, I'm go around this with my blue, the anthraquinone blue. And last time I didn't really care about if it was on the corners or not, but this time I am going to put some, just spread it out on the corners because I want to make sure that it's not rolling over itself. See, it's really hot here today and paint starts to set up very quickly when it's very hot. So we're going to work fast. Are you ready, darling? I am indeed. Okay, most of the weight of the paint is over here right now because I ended both cups this way. So the first thing I'm going to do, I don't know, we might go over that corner first before we start moving the paint around. Now I'm not worried about that corner anymore. So, I'm going to take the weight of the paint back down a little bit. Now there's still a lot of paint on here and I'm not crazy about this. So we are going to tilt some of this off. This way. Okay, I see something in my paint. If you see stuff in your paint, get it out as soon as you see it. Wow, this is so cool. This is awesome. I love those lines. I think I want to, ooh, I like this. I'm not crazy about that, but there's no way to get this off. Uh, well, maybe. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to take this down a little bit. I'm sad to lose some of this, but there's too much over here, so we need to get rid of some of it.
and that's going to open up that side anyway. Wow, this part over here is so cool. You guys, this mix stuff is amazing. Okay. Need a little bit more. Oh my, oh my, that's cool, okay, I'm loving this, the only thing I'm going to do is cover up this edge right here, with a little bit more violet, and it seems to have gotten skipped while we were tilting. Huh? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay, we're going to give it a quick torch, and then I think we're going to be done. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm loving these cells over here. They're really pretty. I love this transparency here, how you see the, the regale blue with a little bit of pearl and a little bit of gold and then the darker blue and the purple. That's just really pretty. These lines are gorgeous. These lines are gorgeous here too. I love these cells on that darker blue. It's awesome. Okay, so that's it for this one. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Stay cool, man. See you soon. Okay. So this is actually the next day. <laughs> this dried really, really fast because it was so hot yesterday. <laughs> it was ridiculous. But this turned out so cool. I love, love, love these lines in here. It's just amazing. And this is exactly what I was hoping would happen with the mix. This beautiful translucency and this layering, especially right in here, is so pretty. You see that pearl floating on top of the gold and on top of the, the Prussian blue and that regale blue. I love this part, that darker area with the cells on it is so pretty. It's just, I think that's my favorite thing ever. I love this little corner. Very pretty. I really like this piece. So I actually see an eyelash. <laughs> One eye closed with eyelashes and I guess very interesting eyeshadow. <laughs> A really really cool i really like this one a lot this part is gorgeous how the gold and the, the pearl blended together and it's really glowing very very cool stuff so i'm gonna call this one eyelashes <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with us i really do appreciate you i hope you've been having fun watching me play with mix and you know it's great stuff it's really really cool i love the consistency of it blends up super easy and with this one I did thin it out a little bit with water because it was so hot yesterday and it dried beautifully like overnight so I will put the link up for you guys check them out and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time thank you so much for having out with us have a wonderful day bye bye